when it comes to the reading module, there is a basic difference between the words reading and comprehending. When you're comprehending, it means you actually understand what is written there. So when you start the reading module, do not just straight away dive into the actual text. Go to the questions first, read a couple of questions, the first few probably, and then come to the text so you know what is required of you and uh, you know what you're looking for. There are a number of segments, which is actually uh, a certain type of questions in different segments um, in each of those uh, three reading passages in the reading module. And the answers to these questions, which are in one segment, uh, will be found in the actual reading passages in sequential order. That means that if number 27 to 29 is one segment of questions, then if you find the number 27th answer in one place in the reading text, then highly likely, almost surely from experience, uh, number 28 and 29th answers will also be in a sequential order, which is after the answer of number 27th, not before that. In the reading module, there is one type of question which is detecting if a statement is true, false, or not given. Even, even though it is called not given, uh, it does not necessarily mean that that statement or anything relating to that will not be in the text at all. It doesn't mean that. Uh, you will find most often, usually, and there will be something that is pretty much similar uh, to that statement in the question uh, will be in ac the actual text, you'll find it there, but it will not uh, totally agree or disagree with the statement in the question. Uh, that is what we call not given.